So welcome to this week's episode of Leadership Sound Bites with Rocco and Michelle. So this week we had a few we were picking between and stuff. And so we're gonna we're gonna um kick off with we'll care about the quote, but the topic is the power of leadership development. And we'll unpack a little bit more on that. We have a few quotes, as not surprising. Uh, First one is, in the world of leadership, development is not an option. It's necessity. It's the path to innovation, growth, and lasting success. Um, You and I talked about this. And when I think about leadership development, because we talked about development initially, right? And it's so broad. But when I think about leadership development, it literally takes me to this place and not necessarily I have a title, but who am I? What's my responsibility? What's my main focus? And to your point, we go back to Margie, I've got to start with me. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think that's the thing is that it's about stepping into who you are as a leader and then what does that mean? How do you do it? Where do you start? And and what's the power in it? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we were on similar paths when we started thinking about it um, from an organization, right? Both of us are, have worked in, in corporate worlds and it's like, we spend a lot of time budgeting for resources and thinking about the future of that organization and investing in those tangible things like buildings and, um, you know, all of those capital driven things, but we spend very little time thinking about how do we develop the leaders who are actually delivering and, you know, creating the future of the organization. And, um, you know, we go to school for some technical expertise, physicians Mm -hmm. go to become doctors, leaders might go in some specialty like nursing, because we're, we've been in healthcare, Mm -hmm. or even in manufacturing, you have your engineers, Mm -hmm. or if you want to go into administration. So you're learning a skill around that, but very little is spent on developing you as how do I show up? as a leader of some team Mm -hmm. um, or of some function or of some organization, what are those skill sets and mindsets that I need to develop to be my best self to serve those people as well? So it's just, yeah. And I'm going to go back. So there's a, my brain was firing in a number of places, right? (laughs) Because it starts, I start making connections to the leaders that I'm coaching um, a lot of the topics that we have surface from what we're living in with day to day and what surfaces is in the world right now. So there's a there's a couple of places I went when you were talking. Right. It's it's one of the things that I'm looking at to go as organizations go through and develop AOPs to budgets for next year. Right. Um, next year, Tony Robbins might call it winter season. Next year is going to be freaking tough. By everything of what I'm seeing that organizations are going through, what organizations are preparing for. And I think one thing that that is challenging for organizations is I watch them cut off resources to the topic that we're talking about around leadership development, which is like cutting your nose off to spite your face. Because if you can't, if you don't develop the capability of your leaders to engage with your staff at every level of the organization, you are not going to have the impact that you need to thrive with the winter season that's ahead of us. Okay, so that's one path I went. The other one I went down is how powerful it is from a coaching perspective, because you do this too. I coach leaders at all levels. So, you know, up to CEOs of organizations. The thing we have in common is every single person, every single level is on their own development journey. Mm -hmm. There isn't any leader. I'm talking like the top of the house because we're humans, even though we have this title. And so one leader I've recently been working with, he's very well-intentioned. Um, but very command and control and not in a bad way. Only it's like he gets assigned a project. He has to, he has people that he's going to be working with, his senior director. And so his thing is when I'm coaching him, he talks to me, he goes, so, you know, I'm doing this. We've set the meeting. I sent the agenda. I've done some thinking on what we have to do to be able to accomplish this thing, right? Across different branches. 
And I said, great. And I said, and what assumptions are you making about the people that are running those other branches? What? I said, because you've mapped all this out. So what assumptions? And he looked at me and he said that they don't know how to do this. And I said, exactly. And I said, so how can you find out mm -hmm. the truth? So he took a completely different path. And this is a leader that had lots of experience, military background, lots of experience. I think the power in leadership development, like we talked about before, is the willingness to develop and be open to some way different of engaging your team, regardless of how far along that journey you are yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the things we were talking about offline and in the, in that same vein is um, around, it, it's not you developing or creating additional leaders, but it's how are you impacting hmm. people that you're interacting with? And is it in a positive way? Is it creating hmm. positive change? Is it creating positive momentum towards some some result or something right um and and what you just what you just expressed in that story what was coming to me was he was so focused on what he knew and mm -hmm. again those unquestioned assumptions about what he knew that he wasn't really thinking about what was the positive impact that he might have on mm -hmm. those other areas and so again leadership development is it's it's this beautiful tension between looking inward and looking outward mm -hmm. um, all the time. Uh, like, how am I showing up? What else could I do to show up differently so that, again, I'm being perceived and I'm having this impact on others in a positive mm -hmm. way? We had, uh, Tansy and I recently did a podcast on the power of accountability. And it was the fact that it was like a two-sided coin, if you will, right? It's the holding ourselves accountable. And then it's holding others accountable, which has a completely different energy and vibe around it. So when I think about leadership development, it's about developing myself and then developing other people. I don't get the negative vibe on the developing other people, but I get that a lot of times with leadership development, I could be just a hair ahead of someone, right? Because a lot of times leaders think, well, I have to be the expert, air quote, expert on this thing before I can develop other people. And I'm going to call BS. OK, yeah. so I don't care if you just learn this concept. Right. And you yourself are on this learning journey, trying to hold yourself accountable and you're not able to do that consistently yet. Bring it back to your freaking team yeah. because you all can learn together. So the hair that you're ahead of them is because I know something and got exposed to something. And then what can we do with it? Yeah. Yeah. The the other place that I'd, I'd love to get your thoughts on, too, is where my my mind was going with leadership development was having this mindset of I shifting from a mindset of I have to mm. to I want to. So it's not something that, you know, is this chore mm -hmm. that I have to develop um, my leaders, uh, you know, from an organizational mindset, or I have to develop myself as a chore. Mm -hmm. Right. But I want to because there's this I can see some positive outcome of me doing this thing. So I want to do it because it speaks to my heart, my mind, my mm -hmm. hand, the whole person. My brain went to the the and again, energy shifts because I can you can feel it. Right. I have to is this literally like I've got this like massive boulder behind me that I'm dragging through the, you know, the terrain, whatever, which is painful. You're sweating like crazy and it's not freaking fun. Okay. I have to, when we shift our mindset to, when you said, I want to, my brain first jumped to, I get to. Yes. Right. And when I think about want to get to, there is a level of excitement to this opportunity that's ahead of me that you know, I mean, I'm a select few. If you think about it, you know, and, and we've thought about this in the different roles that we've been in, the role that you're in now, right? There's one of you in the organization. The role that we've been in in previous stuff, there was one of us in the organization. And so for me, that's a opportunity, get to, you know, how, how freaking lucky are we? 
Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that part of it does, it creates the energy and the enthusiasm behind it. And when you show up that way, you can't help but influence the other people that are in the room with you, even if they don't know what the frick you're excited about. (laughs) They're going to be like, this is cool stuff. (laughs) And and that's that's where it catapults to transformation and innovation, like in the the quote that that you shared at the very beginning. I mean, that's... That is that massive momentum that you get versus this, you know, back and forth. You yeah. take steps, you take 20 steps backwards and, you know, kind of thing. What well, was cool. I just finished up um, a workshop that we did through Catalysis and it was about developing, you know, basically being a leader in today's world and becoming the leader you want to be with their skills. So it was a three part virtual Um, And so this week was the last of the third in the series. And so part of it, as you know, our practice is reflection. And it was really cool to hear through this intentional practice, because we're not talking about freaking brain surgery here. None of the stuff that we're talking about where leadership development is brain surgery. But the difficulty and the ability to commit to something is that's where the hard part is. And so it was really cool to hear leaders reflection, you know, is this working for you? What's happening is the fact that they're actually doing the stuff they knew they were supposed to do, only they're doing it now. And the joy that they had and the pride in themselves that they were actually doing it. So we talk about the power in leadership development. It's the opportunity to pat yourself on the back because you're doing the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So it was cool. So anyway, thank you for this one. I, I'm, it's a shame. I've got no energy around it. Um, <laughs> and neither do you. No, of course um, not. <laughs> so what are one or two things or you want people to walk away with on the power of leadership development? I think I want to, I, I want people to walk away with it. It's not an event. Mm. It is a journey. And if you, and if you take this shift in how you, this paradigm shift of how you look at it, that Mm -hmm. it's not a, I have to, to, I want to, or I get to, Mm -hmm. and that there can be some internal joy Mm -hmm. in what you do. And then it connects more to your values and who Mm -hmm. you are, that purpose piece of it. Yeah, you have energy around There's it. real power. Behind right. You it. reminded me of the other quote from Dr. Seuss. Um, the more you read, the more things you know, the more you learn, the more places you'll go. Um, and so it's it's that piece as well. And that's the book, right? The other places mm-hmm. will go. Yeah. Um for me, when I think about it, and I and I hands down agree with you on that. When I think about it, what I think about is don't overthink it. It doesn't have to be a 12 week course you sign up with. It doesn't have to be anything like that. It can be a matter of just setting the intention for yourself to be a little bit better at fill in the blank, whatever that may be, you know, listening or pausing. If you're a leader that, you know, you're higher up the food chain, I'm not going to be the first that speaks. I'm going to wait to hear. I'm not going to be the answer person, solution person, even though they have thoughts and ideas. So whatever that may be, it doesn't have to be over-engineered. It can be very simple, very organic. Um, And I, and I just encourage people to start with that. So anyway, thank you again for this one. I love it. So leadership sound bites with Roko and Michelle, and this is the topic of leadership development until next time. Thank you.